what's up everyone, Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new Let's Fix video. This time we are taking a look at an N64 controller. Now, a very common thing that happens with these is over time these joysticks start to kind of lose their stiffness and they don't have very good action in them anymore. They get really loose and they tend to travel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to crack one of these puppies open and replace that joystick. All right, so here we have a typical N64 controller, that nice standard gray, and this controller has the same issue that a lot do, and that is the joystick. Now, it is a little bit hard to tell, but this joystick definitely has some travel on it. It is just, it's not crisp anymore, and it's a very common problem that happens with these. So you can easily get these nice aftermarket joysticks, and it's just a matter of replacing it. So this one, it's got some nice action to it still, whereas this one has just seen better days. So we are going to take this apart and put this joystick in instead. And as we do that, we are actually going to clean up this controller as well. I've got my trusty microfiber cloth right here. I've got my isopropyl alcohol, and we are just gonna hit it hard and get rid of all the gunk that's all over this thing. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna be using my iFixit toolkit again, and I am just going to remove the multitude of screws that come in an N64 controller. It is kind of nice, they do not require any kind of special bit. They just use some nice Phillips, Phillips head screws. So I'm gonna use the lid to this. It's got a nice little grid in it to work with because from what I remember, these actually have a couple different size screws in here. So better safe than sorry, organize it as we go. I don't know why this needed so many screws, why maybe they couldn't just use some snaps or something like that, but I did not work at Nintendo. I did not get involved with any of that decision. So I just have to deal with it. Wiping off all the dust on these screws as I go. I like to make sure I keep everything in the same order, just in case. Now something to keep in mind with these old N64 controllers is the triggers and the cable itself can be a little bit testy whenever you are working with it. So just make sure you keep that in mind and watch out so you don't lose any of the screws. All right, now I believe, is that it? Let's see here. Go ahead and pop this free. Now another thing is these posts tend to be a little bit fragile on the inside of these controllers. Let's see here. I oh, know that's right. There are a couple more little screws down inside of there. Let's see here. Go ahead and get those out. I knew there was two different size screws. All right, there's one. And let's get the other one out. All right. Now it should come apart a little bit easier. There we go. Just pops right off. Now look at that. And on the inside, if you've never seen it, there's the inside of an N64 controller. Fancy, with its weird alien design. All right, and here we have the board itself. Now, what I am going to do is, I'm just gonna wipe this down a little bit. It does have some dirt and gunk and stuff inside of here. When it looks like a little bit of broken plastic was inside of there. It doesn't look like that went to anything super important though. Oh, actually, yeah, it won't matter. It actually is a piece of this right here. That is the snap that holds the button onto the actual joystick. So we are gonna go ahead and get rid of this piece anyways. So that doesn't matter that that's broken. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda set the triggers out of my way. That way I don't lose them or mess anything up get some of my trusty isopropyl alcohol. And a very common thing that happens with controllers, not just N64 controllers, but any controllers that have a seam, is it gets nasty. People eat food, play games, eat food, play games, and just get a multitude of nasty, nasty gunk on these. So, do your local game store a favor if they take trade-ins, things like that. 
then do them a favor, just crack your controller open, clean it up for them. I mean, why would you put somebody through this? It's just, it's nasty. So, and some people give me grief because I don't wear gloves when I do the cleaning like this. And that's just because that's what soap is for. I mean, who cares? It's just plastic. I know I'm not dealing with anything toxic or anything like that. I can always wash my hands when I'm done. All right, getting all those edges nice and clean. I am going to have to wash this microfiber cloth after because it's getting nasty. Get all those edges. And it'll just make it feel cleaner whenever you hold it as well, which, I mean, why would you want to feel all kinds of nasty, like, chip and soda grime and dirt and everything from somebody else's childhood. No thanks. I had my own dirt and grime from my own childhood. I don't need somebody else's. All right, I'm just gonna wipe down a bit of this cord right here. Actually, I'll just wipe down the whole cord. Might as well, right? So I'm just running it through the cloth. Got all the dust and goodies off of it. Has a knot in the cord. Let's get rid of that. There we go. All right. Crack that open. Oh, that has got the letter M on it from the previous owner. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just wipe away any existence of that. Sharpie on plastic. Man, do I hate that. Talk about a collecting pet peeve. At least it's not on a paper label. That's even worse. All right, almost got that off of there. Little rubbing alcohol, little elbow grease. Good as new, perfect. All right, a little more dust in there. Okay, so let's get this cord back out of the way. Now, we have, I believe it is just three of them. We have three screws holding in the actual joystick, and then we have one little connector right here. I'll go ahead and zoom that in for you. So you can see, this is the actual joystick assembly. We've got a screw here, here, and down in here. And then we have this little connector right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just unplug that connector. Okay, I don't care if I pull by the wires on that or anything, it's busted anyways. Then we're gonna undo these three screws. Those you wanna save, most of the time, replacement parts like the joysticks do not come with the extra screws, so keep that in mind. Don't just toss those away. Always save your screws. You never know when you might need them for another project. There we go. Get that one out. Give me that screw. There it is. Maybe. There. All right, so there's the old busted joystick. Here's the nice new crispy one. And we we are just going to uh, toss that aside. Okay, let's fix that zoom for you guys. And all we're gonna do is set this guy right down in here, just right over the top. We're gonna throw the screws back into it. Thank goodness for magnetic screw heads. Tighten one of them down, that way it won't pop out on us. Zoom back out a little bit. There we go. That is one thing I do appreciate about Nintendo controllers. And actually a lot of just classic, now, you know, retro controllers they are significantly easier to work on than modern ones, in my opinion anyways. Just a few screws holding it together. Got a super simplistic board here, so keeps it nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this all connected. There we go. We're gonna make sure that's nice and secure. All right, and then this part right here, I'll get that focus back. This little button is actually the Z button, and it's got some nice little notches in it so that we can just snap that down into place, that way it doesn't move. And there we go. 
we got that in there. Oh, make sure that's secure. Little pad on top of there. Likes to come loose. Okay, so that is it for putting that piece in. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean off the rim of this controller, or uh, this part of the controller, just like we did on the other side. Wanna make sure we don't just add gunk back into everything else that we had. We'll zoom this back out again. Get this guy out of the way. We're just gonna go through, wipe it down a little bit more. Get rid of all that buildup from time, time and potato chips. Yeah, definitely be nice to your game store people. Don't, uh, don't give them gunked up controllers because then they just have to clean it. And that's not cool. They got more important things to do than sit there cleaning gunk out of a controller that an owner could have easily taken care of. a little more alcohol on there. Oh, well, that's better. All right. Get that all wiped down. Let's get all of the edges. Man, even where the cord is, nasty. Got some more writing on there. We'll go ahead and get rid of that writing. Get that elbow grease in there and it'll make those old sharpie initials go away all right there we go okay and while i have it disassembled i'm just going to go ahead and hit the rest of the outer shell with this clean it up as best i can Go. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. First things first, I need to put these little triggers back in where they go. Wipe those down on the way in. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind also, this is the top of the controller, so that means the left trigger goes on your right side when you're looking at it like this. go. We'll wipe down the right trigger. Just make sure it's all nice and clean. Don't gunk anything up when we put it back. Nice little guide holes everywhere. Awesome. Got some good action on there. And we're just going to take this guy right here and slide it right back over the top. We want to make sure we get our cord aligned and we want to make sure we also get all of these extra pins aligned. You can see there are some various pin holes right there guiding in for the memory card slot in here. And those line up with two different pin holes that are actually on this base. Helps it just align perfectly so that everything fits together nice and there are no issues. Because that is one thing I always seem to have is an issue putting an N64 controller back together. Oh, and look at that, I already lost a button. Okay, let's pop that back off. Darn buttons, every time I always get a trigger that falls off. Okay, let's try this again. Do that guiding post, drop that down. It's being difficult, there it is. Snapped a little into place there. It wants to go together. Make sure the cable's not getting pinched. Line up all the little posts. There we go, getting in line. There we go. Controller action is good. The Z post is good. And we are going to go in and add the little expansion slot screws back in. That would help hold that top piece together as we put all this together. So I'm just gonna screw those guys back down. The 
kind of work as nice little uh, set screws. Get that other one. Little tiny screws and large hands, not usually a good combination. So sometimes if you just kind of shift it around, that will help it find those screw posts so that it sits nicely in there. It's always that center one that has an issue. Come on now, there we go, got that one. Okay, we're gonna get this screw in. As you slowly piece it together, it makes finding those screw posts a little bit easier. That way you don't have things that are constantly shifting around in it. I like to always check the triggers as I go to make sure I'm not reaching any pinch points. Go ahead and get this one in. There we go. Get the other side. That one's a little bit off, there we go. Screw that back together. And it's always that center one that gives me issues. The alien prong in there. All right, get that guy. There we go. And now that automatically helps squeeze a lot of this back together where it needs to go. There we go. That snapped back into place. Hear that satisfying sound. All right, we'll get this last one. There it goes. And there we go. That is all back together and it's nice and clean. And we have that nice spring action back with a nice new joystick. So there you have it everyone. That is how you open up an N64 controller and get that joystick replaced. Now it may not be an original OEM part from Nintendo, but you know what, these aftermarket and third party parts, these joysticks, they work really well and they breathe new life into a controller. So we got that nice controller all repaired, ready to go, and it's time to go do some gaming. Now please let me know what you thought of today's video down in the comments below and while you're down there please remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell so you get an alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now as always I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.